So what are you going to do, John? You've got to make a choice here. Fate is predetermined. Destiny is determined by the choices we make. How's my little angel? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Things looking good, hey? Daddy loves you. Look left. Did you see this spot? It's what we call a pteroid raptoid tumour. A tumour? How long have I got? Ten years. There may be one potential treatment. I'll do anything. It seems that by placing a patient in an induced coma, we're able to slow the growth of a tumour to the point where it shrinks to nothing. In your case, taking into account the mass of the tumour, 25 years. I'm not just gonna bail out on you. If you died in 10 years, you would be bailing out. You'd be asleep for a quarter of a century. I'd miss the best years of my life. It's terrifying. If it was me, I couldn't leave them on their own. I am very clear about everything that I'd missing. Thank you very much. Easy. Hey, you're asking the wrong man, love. Because I know when she's old enough, she's gonna realize how lucky she is to still have you alive. If you go under and you're waking up to a full grown woman. She wouldn't even know you. Do you ever question how in control we actually are and how much of life is predetermined? Where you're born, who raises you? I want to be alone! What kind of person you'll become through it all? The tumour was fate, but choosing to stay alive is destiny. Nobody should have to make that choice. Leaving the love of your life and your daughter for 25 years or help raise her and say goodbye in 10. I know what I have to do. What would you do 